What's good with y'all boys, man? I hope y'all are having a blessed day today and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over a very quick, simple dribble tutorial for those that have the low ball handle. I have a 71 ball handle on this build. This is my glass cleaning slasher build. And this video is for anybody that has a low ball handle but wants to start dribbling a little bit. And you see on this build, I only have quick chain and quick first step are my only playmaking badges. And if y'all are trying to start dribbling, make sure you max out these two badges first quick chain and quick first step the first playmaking badges y'all max out are those two and then handles for days if you have handles for days power forwards don't get them unless you have uh, playmaking in your pie chart in your build the yellow pie chart unless you get some of that in there then you then you get handles for days but if you don't um then you don't get handles for days uh, y'all gonna see me still combo up without handles for days i have an 87 speed 84 acceleration without gatorade leads me to my next point y'all need to do your gatorade drills try to get three stars on all of them so you get the extra stamina and the extra speed like if i did my gatorades on this build i'd have a 91 speed which that's just glitchy and that's definitely going to help out a lot with your dribbling now on to my animations that i'm using on my low ball control builds by the way low ball control means anything under an 80 my dribble style i use paul george on these builds i use quick on anything 80 and above i just like paul george because the crossover you get with it um and the misdirections that you can use Kawhi Leonard for the size up it's new and it's definitely the best one for the low ball control builds um and then luka Doncic size up combo it's nothing fancy it's just standing tween cross but you can speed boost out of that like crazy size up escape package luka you can use lebron lebron james because it gets the ai step back but on this build the, the three point isn't respectable enough for people to play that step back so on this build i'm gonna use luka Doncic. y'all gonna see you can spam crossovers between each other we don't get the good behind the back yet you get that 75 ball control that would be scotty pippen um but you know the step back jimmy butler that's a very quick step back make sure you have wnba5 um the whatever the fuck it is bro y'all seen it bro make sure y'all have that on because i'm gonna show y'all something in this video that's pretty glitchy now if you haven't already drop a like on today's video subscribe if you're new to the channel and thank y'all so much for getting me to 24,000 subscribers and i'll catch y'all on the my court all right look y'all if y'all watched my last tutorial y'all already know that all my combos are simple I, I don't do none of this misdirection stuff like that or i do that i don't do none of this like anything that's hard really hard to do bro all I do is in between the legs, behind the back, the tween cross, just stuff like that. So I'm going tween, y'all know, left, right is tween, up diagonal is cross, and then down diagonal is behind the back. So I'm going tween, behind, tween, cross. Into the momentum, hold right trigger, flick up on the right stick diagonal, and then, and then your left stick follows that like that. And then you can combo that into boom and then tween and then y'all know quick chain you need three dribble moves so that's 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 the whole combo right there is the boom 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 and you see we take off quick as hell off that because we got quick first step and quick chain both activated for us but then you can do two of them if you want you can do it that way every oh i usually do a lot of misdirections on my um low ball control like um uh, builds so like this is the uh the paul george crossover you're not really crossing over you're just running the opposite direction of the ball like you see right here i'm just tween into the right and then run into the left and you get that crossover animation and then what i usually do on my my builds like this is i'll do that and i'll stop and then i'll go back this way y'all see it a lot in my videos so that you kind of catch them going this way you catch them going this way and then you go boom and you speed boost back that way but for the combos it's all tween behind the back all standing i'm not holding right trigger when i'm doing that save and stand and tween cross y'all could cross tween and all that all of them i'm just comboing shit together but momentum oh shit what the hell is that momentum set it three boom get glitchy like that i don't have my gatorade done on this build so my stamina is like gone but Step back, boom, and then oh my stamina's out, so let's be boost his ass. But I do a lot of mis misdirections on these type of builds. Just going this way, letting go of everything, and then speed boosting back this way. Like that. You'll get the timing down. You, you beat your defender almost every time. You see I do it a lot. Oh. Another move that's really easy. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot this. So I can catch the ball. 
if you're ever in a catch situation at the top, like the twos or the threes, whatever, you all reset. You all got the ball like this. This move is a killer, bro. I swear to God, I don't know why. You see, I'm holding the ball like this. If I flick left on on the right stick, you see that little hop animation or that little step animation. You can also you also got this one, but this one's more obvious. But if I just flick, you all see me do this on the ones and the twos a lot. If I just flick like this and then speed boost like that, that shit is quick as hell. I don't know why. I'm just flicking my my right stick to the left, and as soon as my dude steps, I turbo. Oh shit, I fucked it up. Green that bitch. Fuck. Alright. As soon as my dude steps, I turbo, and boom. It's like a little... It's like a change of speed, kinda. But that move is definitely good and efficient to use. Um, but yeah, a lot of misdirections, and then um, the standing combos like this into the momentum. Um, and all of that is what I do on these low builds. Also, um, you have the Luka Doncic, so if you hold right trigger and flick up diagonal, you get this. And it looks pretty plain, but you can spam this shit. Like that. And then I got the twin cross. <laughs> and then you can spam it back and forth so it looks glitchy. If you want to get glitchy, if you don't want to get glitchy, then don't use that. Just use everything else I told you. But if you want to get glitchy, there's this thing. And then you also have the Luka Doncic uh, standing size up combo. You hold right trigger, flick up on the right stick. Boom, boom. You do a cross tween, and then you get a big speed boost out of that. I don't let it play out. I do the cross tween, and then boom, speed boost out of that. Sometimes I'll, I'll combo into it, like crossover. Oh, hold up. Momentum, tween behind the back, and combo into that. Quick chains activated, so you know. We get even, we're even faster coming out of that. Oh. Uh, I don't do it. I don't do this too much. The hop step pro two on my low builds because it it's like weird. It pushes you a little bit forward, but it's still a big ass speed boost as y'all can tell right there. Boom. It, it, it's it's a little weird, but it's still a big speed boost. So you're just holding right trigger, holding down diagonal on the right stick just for a split second. If you hold it too long, then you're gonna pick up the ball. Hold up. Yeah, you're gonna pick up the ball. Or you're gonna shoot that bitch. And if you do it like not long enough, you're just gonna do a regular, a regular behind the back like this. You just gonna do that. You gotta hold it a little bit. Y'all, y'all get the timing down. But another one is a little step back, not holding right trigger like this. Y'all see me come out like this, misdirection that way, and then go back that way. And then with another misdirection, so I'm flicking down on the right stick without holding right trigger. Speed boosting that way, stopping. Speed boost this way. All this shit is simple as hell. Just because it needs to be simple in low ball control builds. You have to be like strategic with, with the moves you pick. Um, the standing snatch back, y'all know. Don't hold right trigger. Flick up on the right stick. Down on the left. If I can do it like that. Just to... If the defender's like pressing you and shit. Like... Do that. Oh. Y'all can combo all these moves together. Hold up. Let me, let me do a little song. Let me do a little song. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, hell. Momentum, momentum. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. You see, the, the hop jumper on the low ball control builds, it like pauses for a while. It's a little weird. Y'all see. But um, I still use it sometimes. Combo this and that. Y'all really can't do too much on these builds just because of stamina. Like I said, make sure your Gatorade's done. My Gatorade isn't done right now. That's really all I'd be doing. Especially, yo, if you're not like a big dribbler, bro, I'm telling you, off this catch and shoot, this move right here, bro. <laughs> I, I'd be killing dudes with this, bro. I just catch their shoulder, bro. Y'all know how OP rim running is. So I'm just going for the dunk. <laughs> this shit is consistent. Uh, but yeah, a lot of misdirections. I'm gonna stay them now. Oh hell! But yeah, that's really what I'd be doing. Practice like these simple moves and then combo them. Everything combos together for real. Like the momentum, snatch back, tween behind the back, tween cross, momentum, like all this shit. Boom, boom, standing size up combo. And then boom. But hopefully y'all learned something from this video. I'm about to wrap this bitch up. Um, if y'all want to know anything else, it, like if I didn't go over anything, or if I went over anything too fast, let me know down in the comments so I can make a part two. 
And as always, thank y'all for watching till the end of the video. And...